I'm going to tell you straight up right now, one of the best side hustles is reselling clothing or items online. I've been doing it for a really long time and it's changed my life so much that I left teaching after 13 years with a degree to do this full time. So today I'm going to talk to you a little bit why it's so good and how it's changed my life as well as go over some sales that I've had recently. Over the past two days, we have about 27 items to ship out. And usually this time of year, people say it's summer slowdown. They don't ship out a lot, but you have to be smart. You have to ship the right items and sell the right items. So, so I wanna show you how this is such a great side hustle. And that's why I wanna to teach you, like I was a teacher, I wanna teach you how to do it. First thing you need to do is create an account. I would say eBay is the best place to start on eBay, just simply create an account and they'll walk you through it super easy. Even if you don't wanna start selling right now, just make that account. That's step one, you're done. Step two, figure out shipping. I have a shipping video in my links. If you look at my shipping video and watch that and how to price items, I have two videos. Those are really two good videos to start off with reselling. So let's go over some items I sold today. It'll give you an idea of how much you can make doing it on the side. I sold 20 something, I had 26 items in the past two days. I really haven't listed a whole lot. So you're gonna see some of those items that I've sold and we can go over that now. Um, this is a Nike dry fit long sleeve golf. Golf is such a great thing to sell because it sells year round. The polos, not as much. Those are definitely a spring and summer item, but golf long sleeve and golf pants, golf pants and golf shorts, sell year round. So I'm gonna ship this out in a, a gr actually it used to be called first class, but it's now ground advantage. So it's gonna go out in under a pound. And I always have buyer pay shipping. I recommend if you're starting out this side hustle, you do buyer pay shipping on eBay. That way you don't lose money with your shipping costs. Again, watch my video. But a lot of people that I've taught over the years how to do this have given up so quickly because they've lost money on shipping. And if you lose money on shipping on a $20 item, a lot of times you can lose money on the whole deal or break even and you'll give up and think it's not worth your time. So make sure you get that shipping down. So I do buyer pay shipping calculated through eBay. It might sound difficult right now, but it's super simple. So that's going out the door. What I'll do, I have my thermal printer, which I say in every video, it's the best monetary investment I've ever made in my business. It saves me so much time and time is money, especially for a side hustle because you had that full-time job. So there that goes. Next item we sold, again, sticking on the uh, golf topic, we have our Nike Tour Performance. See how it has those perforations on the back? That helps sell this. Uh, it sold for $18.88 and I paid $4 for it, five, four or $5. That's the average cost of, that I bought all this stuff for. You're gonna think, oh man, that's only like $10, $12 profit, which it is, but guess what? Like two of those will pay for dinner at night. If you're looking for it to be a side hustle, I mean, if you can pay for dinner, that money that you get on your paycheck can go towards uh, your car payment or your house payment or a vacation or a toy or another investment. So made about $12 off these, but now that I've been doing this for so long, I can list these, I call it the surf's up method. I can list the, I can take pictures and list them in under two minutes. So those took me two minutes to list from start to finish. And then you saw how long it took me to pack. Um, next item again, staying on the golf topic, is an Under Armour, just regular old Under Armour Stripe Polo. Now you can see these selling at TJ Maxx, Ross, Marshall. They're starting to come down in prices. So you can see them brand new for like $23, $25. So you gotta be careful on how much you spend when buying those items. I spend about four or five dollars. If they're priced at ten dollars, I will not pick them up. Sorry, I'm switching to some different poly mailers. Um, yeah, but that sold for eighteen oh four, and so I use a service called Auto Posher, and it's been like it hasn't been a lifesaver, but it's basically been like a personal assistant to me. So for Auto Posher, you, you can use it for Poshmark, Macari, and eBay across all platforms for one price, but I just do it for eBay. What it does is if somebody watches my item or they look at my item and scroll through it, AutoPosture will send an automatic offer to them that I create, mine's 5%, with a little cute note um, saying like, thanks for looking at this, here's an extra 5% if you want it. And then it sells 
it sells sometimes. And this one's 1804. That's how I know it's an auto posture sale because I don't price anything at 1804. So auto posture has been awesome in my business. It does that plus it delist and relist. You hear me talk about it a lot, but I'm going to tell you um, every sale that's an auto posture sale. So that's one auto posture sale. And that was 1804 again. There you go. There's dinner. There's 20 something bucks right there. That'll pay for a family of four of dinner. Unless you're going to a nice steakhouse. It's different. Uh, this is also an auto posture sale. It sold for $22.79. These are called Roan. So there are three types of athleisure wear I like to pick up. And men's and women's, it's Viore, Lululemon, and Roan. And right now, Roan is probably the third favorite of mine. Um, but you'll look for something like this. You'll look for this little check pattern like that, a little cross check pattern. That's how you know if it's Roan. Those sold for $22.79. Again, I don't price anything at $22.79. Probably had these at $23.99 or $24 or something like that. Um, it's an auto posture sale. So someone looked at it, took that 5% discount and purchased it. So again, that's an auto posture sale. I pay $35 a month for it. Um, if, if you're interested in it, I think anyone who has auto posture will swear by it. I have a link in my description below. Uh, and you get $5 off your first month and a seven day free trial. So Surf's Up finds the link. If you want to try it, if not, no big deal. Um, but you're going to see, here's another auto posture sale. I'm, I'm just telling you, this is the third one. So Lululemon, this is a metal vent tech shirt. It's so much easier for me. And I'll tell you about this logo too. It's so much easier for me to list Lululemon men's clothing because I know all the names, like the metal, metal vent tech uh, 1.0 or 2.0 because they only make like a handful. Women's, they make a bajillion lines and a bajillion types. So I can't keep up with the women's. Men's, super easy. This right here is actually the first logo that Lululemon made for men. It's almost, a, it's probably about the size of a nickel and it's kind of got that hexagonal shape. So they came out with this one. Then they came out with the original little dime shape logo. Then they, so men, so you can know it was men's. It came out with a little square with the little Lululemon, but now they've gone back to the circle for women's and men's because they want everything to be unisex. So that sold for twenty one eighty four, auto posture sale twenty one eighty four again. Buyer pays for shipping. So I had four dollars into that shirt. eBay is going to charge me thirteen percent because eBay charges you about a little over thirteen percent, um, and then I have buyer pays shipping on that. So four dollars. Plus 13% off of that $22 is my commission. Another auto posture sale. So this is Hook. I always pronounce it Huck. I don't know. As I always say, as long as you can type it in on eBay, it doesn't matter. If you can type in H-U-K, who cares how to pronounce it? But it is pronounced Hook. But these are good. These are the new PFG Columbia. So Columbia was the hot like fishing brand um sports like um uh, ocean brand boating fishing yachting whatever back in like 2016 17 18 it's completely dropped off now i don't pick it up unless it's new with tags i can get it for like five bucks this is the new uh pfg to me so it's called hook they'll sell for 2216 how do i know it's an auto posture sale people always ask me how do you know it's an auto posture sale because say you already know I'm a teacher. I'm like, say it with me, class. 2216. I don't sell anything for 2216. And you see me looking over here. So what I do, I have my iPad over here to the side uh, just to double check to make sure everything's going to the right person. I've made the mistake many times in the beginning of sending the wrong item to the person and it's flip, flip flopped. And what I have to do is it's a whole headache. I don't want to get bad feedback. So I always double check it. I also, as you know, pick up all my inventory out of my 80 bins and have it ready to go for this shipping process. So this is my shipping process. I take pictures on the floor of my kitchen. I literally sit down in a corner and have all my stuff shipping it on the table, shipping process. You can do it, do whatever is good for you, but I'm just showing you how rudimentary this can be. And I make a full-time living off of this. So it can be rudimentary. You can do it. Anyone, if I can do it, anyone can do it. Trust me. So this is Howler. This is a Bolo. So a Bolo is a brand you want to be on the lookout for. A Howler uh, shirt button up. It's a 2XL and it sold for 42 
that I did price at 42.22. Anytime it's a 22 price, I know I do it because I, I don't know. Sometimes I'm weird. I'll do like 22.22 or 23.22. I don't know. Uh, that was my lacrosse number in high school. So that's probably why I do it. I don't know. I'm just quirky like that. You got to be a quirky teacher sometimes. Get the kids interested and involved. Keep their attention. So eBay. I would start with eBay when reselling. Super easy to sign up. Uh, just put in your information. You don't have to start listing. Get to know your shipping. Figure out how you're going to ship all your items. Start with items in your house so you don't have to invest money out thrifting. Start with items like North Face or jackets you don't wear anymore, whatever it is. In season clothing, I would prefer, or items, and then use that money to go thrifting. So you can literally start with essentially zero dollars because it's something you would have donated zero dollars and make it into a business like this full-time income or part-time income um i before i show you these kobe bryant shorts what i would do when i had as my side hustle it grew over the years i ended up paying off our kids um, hospital bills so i paid our kids daycare i bought other investments such as watches and different things like that I also, in other investments, I also paid for vacations. So it paid for so many luxuries in our life, as well as that paid off our cars, things like that. So that's what it can do for you. Um, and the sky's the limit. The longer you stay up at night working, the more money you make. The, the, the more you put in, the more you get out. And I'm not used to that with teaching. You, you're capped off. So these are some um, Kobe Bryant shorts. You wanna look for that emblem if you're not familiar with Kobe Bryant. Just some shorts from Kobe Bryant. They're purple, which helps it out because that's that Laker colorway. They sold for $25.55. I'm guessing that is not an auto pot for sale. I priced it at $25.55 because remember, I'm a quirky teacher, right? I don't know. I like some people will be looking through $29.99, $29.99, $29.99. say $25.55. It'll catch their attention. So I like to do anything that might surprise someone or catch their attention when scrolling through. I think that's important. Uh, this is a super goofy sale. So I've been saying this recently. It is July, 2023. Right now, if you're watching this in whenever, like years from now, this might not be the case because styles come in and out. But vintage, not vintage, it is vintage. But Abercrombie and Fitch, that's like 25 years old, have been selling for me. This is a backpack, obviously. From 25 years old, Abercrombie and Fitch, not a very good looking backpack. It sold for $73.99 at auction. So people bid this thing up all the way to $73.99. I could have held on to it for months and gotten maybe $100 out of it. But for me, I'm like, no, I'll take 70. I'll throw it up on auction. I saw about how much I think I could, they'd go for. I knew it would go for similar to that price. I'll take that $73.99. I paid $10 for that. And I'll go buy seven more of those. Um, and then by the time those sell, maybe I would have sold this for $100. So you can't be greedy in this business. Make that money work for you. Um, patience does pay though for certain items if you want to wait. Like I will wait on my polos to sell. I will wait all season. Oh, look at that. Real time. Ran out of my three inch tape. By the way, I'm a three inch tape packing guy. So pro three inch tape, it makes things super easy, except for of course, when you run out. So I'm just gonna grab some right here. Not even gonna pause the video because I have everything within reach, my little shipping station. Um, by the way, I'm real, y'all. So you follow me by now, I'm real. I don't put on, I don't put on anything fake. I show you guys my stores attached to my link tree. Everything's legit. So no, I'm just showing you what to do to make that extra money because I couldn't show people what to do when I was a teacher. I couldn't do social media and all that sort of stuff, but now I can. And I'm excited to do it and I'm excited to teach you guys. So three inch packing tape, love it. It's my favorite. You know why? Because I'm gonna have to do one stripe across this box. So this box is actually just a simple Amazon box. Um, why, why use something? Why go buy a, a box when you can just use something that's already been shipped to your house? Whatever it is. Obviously, you have to go buy, buy a box. But you'll see here in a little bit that I'll be shipping with some USPS material that are boxes that are free. So you can have them sent free to your house. I have so many uh, packing, so many packing items like these 
and these flat rate padded envelopes. I have so many of them for free that I have in my house in my inventory. I don't have to go to the post office and pick them up. So here's a pair of Lucky brand. I really don't pick up Lucky anymore unless it's like this. So these are selvage denim. People ask me, what's selvage denim? So they'll have a little red stitching at the bottom hem. They'll also, like with Lucky, they'll say white oak denim. So it's like reused denim, really good quality. These are actually not a great size, 28 by 32, but those tall skinny guys are it's really hard for them to find clothing. Go ask the next person that you know, maybe not a stranger, uh, is it tough for you to buy pants and jeans? And they'll say, yeah, I can never find them. Well, that's why they come to eBay and they find you. So don't, just because they're a smaller size, don't pass up on them. These sold for $27. If these were not uh, salvaged denim, I think they would probably sell for like $19.99. Right now, Lucky has gone downhill for me. I think the market's oversaturated. Our particular thrift stores where I live have been pricing them up. So I don't pick them up very often, unless there's something special. Those are going out priority because they're heavier than a pound. So I should, I should let you guys know that. My favorite golf pants to pick up, whether it be Nike, Under Armour, Adidas, are the stretchy waistbands. So anytime you have this like 360 all the way around stretchy waistbands, they do really well. Um, they're the best sellers for me as far as golf shorts. These are obviously Nike golf pants. I think they have the perforation. No, they don't. So Nike golf pants, uh, again, golf pants sell year round. Some courses require golf pants. So that's something to keep in mind of uh, selling them in the summer. These sold for $21.84, auto posture sale. So you see already probably in this one, well, yeah, I would say maybe in, in these two days, auto posture's already almost paid for itself. Um, so here is Denise is getting this pair for either herself or her husband, who knows, her son. But yeah, those were a good little $21.84. Again, I can surf up, find those. I can, I can list those in two minutes because I have so many pairs that I've listed and sold before. These are a new pickup for me. This is, by the way, this is a great little video because I'm showing you a lot of different brands. So this is Bonobos. Um, and I really never find their swim trunks. These are swim trunks. And I just did a quick look up in the thrift store and I saw they sold for decent money. And check this out. This is funny. You ready? How about this? Oh, it's on the back. It's a banana. It's a banana in the crotch. I know, I know, it's funny. But anyways, uh, and inappropriate. They sold for $17.20, auto posture sale. But yeah, I, I've, never sold bon I've never sold Bonobos shorts. In fact, I'm a little bit more particular about Bonobos now. I really like their golf stuff. So their polos, their shorts, their, uh, their golf pants, anything golf related, I pick up. Anything that has like a cashmere blend, I pick up. Um, but the other styles I used to sell all the time, like chinos and jeans, they just are long tail items. They sit for longer. This is a new thing that I've done in 2023. If you know me, you know me. If you're new to the channel, I appreciate you coming in. I'm gonna be teaching you everything. So this is a just a Polo Ralph Lauren shirt, right? Nothing special. The thing about it is though, everyone has these in their towns. So this is an example of a search up method. You can purchase this, and if you get them enough, you'll just go to your sold comps and re take the pictures and uh, sell similar. So basically, you can take pictures in 30 seconds, you can sell similar, plug in the pictures, plug in the color, plug in the size, and list. You can do it all in under two minutes. Don't believe me? I have a video on it. So these I sell all the time. This is a gingham check. So if you see this pattern, don't put plaid put gingham check. Gingham check seems to sell better for me. So what I do, I sell these in two minutes, or I list them in two minutes, and they, I make a 10 to $14 profit on them after cost of fees and everything, 10 to $14. So if you think about it, no matter what, over time, it's $12 for two minutes worth of time. And coming from the teacher world, that's good money. You know, if you're in the 1%, it might not be good money, but most of us aren't because we're in the 99 percentile, 16.99 out the door. Sorry if you're not a Colts fan, but the goat, I sold the goat, Peyton Manning jersey. I pick these up. I always tell people 
if you can find a jersey of someone who is a legend in their city, they will do well. Um, I don't pick up jerseys if it's an athlete that comes and goes, right? Because once that person goes, people aren't buying their stuff anymore. Like I pass up jerseys all the time. Also, you want to list your NFL stuff right now, July and August, because people are excited for the season. They're going to buy all that stuff. But once like October comes, you're going to have a lot of teams that aren't good. They're going to suck. And those fans, you think they're going to go out and buy their items? No. So I always list the NFL stuff right now, July and August, because people are super hyped about their teams. Uh, same thing with baseball or NBA before the season, right before the season starts. And then when their team's not doing real well, you're not going to be selling those items, unfortunately. It's, I've been doing it for a long time. It's just the way the cookie crumbles. Um, these are Oakley shorts. I love picking up Oakley. It's kind of a sneaky brand. So Oakley, people wear these for golf. People wear these for like uh, a lot of motocross kind of stuff. Uh, wear these. These sold for $18.99. I sell the pants and the shorts for right around $20. They always sell. They're just an easy. I find them, pick them up. I know I'll sell them within 90 days. So as long as something sells within 90 days, that's good for me, especially if you're doing it as a side hustle. If you can flip things within 90 days and you constantly pick items up, that ball will start rolling and you're going to really start enjoying reselling online. So I'm giving you some ideas here of brands to find how much you can make on them. Again, buyer pays shipping for me, so keep that in mind. I've said it a couple of times, but I just want to make sure I say it again. So again, you guys can pronounce it. I'll just show you the label. But that label right there is in women's. It's cursive. If it's not in cursive, it's men's. But I'll pronounce it Faherty, 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 whatever it is. But it's a good brand. Um, it start Fall's coming up, guys. And so you're going to start me watch me selling on these videos a whole bunch of stuff like this. I've had this since last season. And this sold now. If you think about it, all of the department stores are going to start rolling out their fall stuff here like in August and September. It's going to be hot, I know, but that's what they do. So as a seasonal seller that I am, I'm, I have probably over a thousand items of fall and winter that I'm going to start listing September 1st. So I just, I just copycat what the department stores do. That sold for uh, $32.22. Again, $22. So that was a mice sale, not an auto posture sale. 22 or 32 22 paid five bucks for those here are some lululemon shorts i've i don't think i've ever found and i wear lululemon i don't think i've ever found any that have like a pattern to this and hopefully you can see it but the easiest way to see if it's lululemon is just to flip over the button and you'll see the little logo right there so that's the easiest way otherwise you'll hit, see the little hit or the little logo down here at the bottom somewhere and sometimes they'll be up here. But the easiest way is just to see the button, flip it over. Does it, does it have a Lululemon tag? These are green. They sold for $32.88, which isn't a bad sale. Lululemon has actually dropped. Whenever I go thrifting or live thrifting and people are always saying, oh my gosh, Lululemon, Lululemon. Listen, yesterday I passed up two pieces because Lululemon has dropped a little bit. The market's saturated. They've made so much for so long. Um, it's not to say I won't pick it up, obviously, but there are pieces I, I will pass over when before I would never pass over Lululemon. So a brand that I will not pass up on now is Viore. Viore is like the new Lululemon. Um, speaking of, Viore. So here's a Viore shirt. This is just a men's shirt, Viore. Here's the tag right there. So we've gone over all three of my favorite athleisure brands. Roan, Viore, Lululemon. Viore, my favorite. Lululemon, second favorite. Rion, third when it comes to reselling. So just a men's plain old shirt. This isn't even a workout shirt. This is just a, a casual feel-good shirt. It sold for $21.11. Auto posture sale right there. So $21.11. You see in two days how this stuff can just add up. Again, this time of year is not the big money-making time of year. I'm selling the same amount of items that I usually sell, but they're all like that $20, $30. Once fall and uh, winter hit, that's when you get those big buck items. Those jackets that sell for 50 to 100, those jeans that sell for 40 to 50, every single item. That's, that's when the money starts coming in. So this time of year, as long as you can just keep up with your sales, I don't believe it's summer slowdown, super easy. 
Um, here we go. Next item. Again, it's golf season. Golf polo. This one's a 2XL. Just regular two-tone with stripes. It sold for $17.86. Class auto posture sale. Thank you. I know I'm a dork, but I'm I'm used to teaching. I'm used to teaching. So that's why that's why I'm here. I'm teaching you guys. So if you like it, give me a thumbs up. Um, so if you have any questions, always ask them in the comments. I love answering questions. It's probably one of my favorite things to do. Uh, but they sold for $17.86. Again, auto posture sale. Next item. I was surprised they sold for this. So I paid $6 for it. You can see on the bottom, 6Y. This stands for $6 and yellow was the tag of the week. So these are actually vents. Um, these are actually vents, which they sell at Nordstrom's and Nordstrom Rack. Leather men's sneakers. You would think these would sell for really good money and they probably did new, but they actually only sold for $24.88 for me. When I saw them, I thought they'd be great. I looked up comps. The comps weren't great, but for six bucks, I'm like, six bucks into 20 is still good. So I'll do that. Plus, it's still easy for me to ship shoes because I use these free shoe boxes from the Postal Service. As long as you're shipping priority, these are free. You just throw them in the box. Now, what I will do with these, I will put them in a little bag just to keep them in case you have rain damage or anything. But I can tell you, after selling almost 30,000 items, I've never had an issue ever with someone saying my item got damaged, my clothing item or shoes got damaged uh, because of rain or because of anything. Nothing like that. Never has, have, has it happened to me. So don't worry about that sort of thing. You don't have to be super careful. Whenever I order shoes in the mail, it will come like that. They're not gonna get hurt. Think about it. You're kicking balls with those things um, if you play soccer. So here's a new brand too. This is a brand that I found recently this year. Um, Mollusk maybe, Mollusk California. So again, another one of those Fowardy Mollusk. It's just that California vibe type of sh shorts. These sold for 20 bucks. Um, again, 3.99 into them. And this is the first time I've sold this brand. So I love finding new brands. Obviously I love learning. Uh, in this business, you have to continue to learn. Styles change, trends change. You have to keep up. And so often people ask me, how do you, what do you do with your items that don't sell? So what happens is if it doesn't sell in the next season, it's still not selling or it's a trendy item like a Tommy Hilfiger big hit or whatever, then I know that's kind of going out of style and I'll just try to unload it as quick as I can, whether it be auction or whatever, because pretty soon I've done it before. Those things are worth like nothing. You almost better donate them. So here's an RLX polo. It even has a little golf course logo on it and a Wyndham championship on the side. So that does not actually help the value, but it still sold for $17.94. So that was an auto posture sale. Let me show you the RLX. So that's Ralph Lauren's golf line. They actually, it's actually their sport line more, more or less. I find it in other stuff as well, but mainly with polos, it's their golf line. Uh, and I pick RLX, as long as it's in good condition, I pick it up almost every time if it's $5 or under. So that sold for $17.94, auto posture sale. Thanks for sticking with me. Hope you're learning some things. We're doing the new ground advantage now. Uh, no more first class, so I hope you've changed over if you're a vet. I'm sure you have. That's actually going to Leo. That's why I double check my items. So, yep, I'm gonna take this one off. This tag, so this is real time. This is me being me. But that's why I double check every single thing before I ship it. So Leo, going to Leo. Leo, you're getting the right item. All right, next we have some Lululemon. Lululemon shorts. These are the pace breaker. So again, with men's Lulu, I know the style. When it has that like horseshoe look in the back, that's the pace breaker. And also they're lined. So they come lined or liner -less. Make sure you put that in the listing. It makes a difference. People want lined or liner -less. These sold for $23.33. That's what the comps are, guys. So that's what the comps on these are. These would have been like $40 shorts maybe four years ago during like the pandemic time or just before. They're $23.33 now. And how did I get that price? Because I looked at sold comps. So you have to keep up with the time. You can't price stuff as as they were four years ago. They're not gonna keep selling for that. They've made millions of these since then. 
So you just got to remember, keep up with the times. That's how with the side hustle, that's how you're going to make money or full time. Next item. Oh, man. Check this out. Triple H Vintage T. Except it's not super vintage. It's got double stitched. It's Triple H. Um, it's WWE. If it was WWF, it would be worth more money. WWF is before they switched over to WWE. Do you know why they changed over to WWE? I'll let you think about that for a second. Ricardo, Ricardo. So this is going to Ricardo. You know why? WWF is Worldwide or uh, World Wildlife Federation or something like that. World Wildlife Fund or something like that. So they had to get switch their names to WWE. So that's why that happened. And that happened about this time. So this is from like 2000 Y2K area. Y2K era. How do I know? I'm 37. I used to watch that stuff. So um, Peter Millar, Summer Comfort. Peter Millar Summer Comfort has also gone downhill a little bit, but it still sells. I still pick it up if it's five dollars or less. This sold for twenty three ninety nine. Still a really good pickup, but again, I'm used to two thousand eighteen, sixteen, seventeen. These going for like almost forty bucks or more. It's just not the case anymore. They've made a million more of them, and which means the thrift stores are getting a lot more donations because people are upgrading or whatever. So this is going to Brandon. It sold for $23.99. Next item, Alex Mill, new item to me. I love that you guys are here for this one because we're learning some new brands. Alex Mill, new new brand to me in 2023. Uh, these shorts sold for 30 bucks. So $29.99 for these shorts. They're just regular old shorts. In fact, um, Pleated is coming back, believe it or not. Pleated is coming back and see that flip cuff at the bottom? I don't know. It's not me, but if you like, I've been watching some style stuff recently. Double breasted blazers are coming back. Pleated's kind of starting to come back. I don't know, but if it is, it is. And so I'll pick it up. I'll change with the times. So these sold for 30 bucks, like I said. They're going to Scott. So Scott's getting these. Again, we're shipping these out. Uh, these are actually, you know, I use these poly mailers, but. I do get free poly mailers with my store on eBay every quarter, or I get $50 to spend. Usually I get poly mailers. So I do have those for backup um, if I need them. This is a super hot brand. I did pay up for this. I think I paid like $12, but this is Grayson. Grayson's a really good brand for golf. Um, you'll look for the little um, logo and it's a wolf logo, but check out this pattern. This pattern's crazy. I think this would have sold for more money if it did not have this on the side. SLS Strategies, awful logo, awful logo. So if it had a golf course logo, it would have sold for over 50. If it didn't have a logo, it would have sold for over 50. But to have a company logo on there, ooh, that's not good. But that just goes to show you, brands can really bring value. So that sold for almost $40 with that gross logo. If that was on a Nike shirt, that would sold for like, 13 bucks if it's just a regular solid color Nike. But Grayson sold that brand. So that is our last item. So we, we packed over 20 items in that amount of time. Again, reselling is such a great side hustle. I hope you follow me. I hope I can teach you some things. Um, I will show you real time, real life. I'm not going to put on any fluff what I'm selling and how much you can make and give you tips along the way. That's what I'm doing. That's my new career. Thanks for coming in. Follow and like. I'll see you in the next one. Surf's up.